Here we go. Right. So structure and function of the kidney. Okay. So be able to take your notes as you're going along. I'll take the diagram. Right. Kidney has two main functions. Removal of urea. Now urea <laughs> is made by the liver because it is breaking down excess proteins. All right. Proteins are made from amino acids. So when you've got too much proteins in your body, like me when I'm doing all these protein shakes on the cycling, those excess proteins are broken down by the liver. Okay? They are broken down into a substance called urea. Now urea is not good. Urea can be a poison to us in large, well not in large quantities, but in left unremoved urea is a problem because it will convert to ammonia and ammonia has a pH and a toxicity that we don't want in our blood all right so let's bring in the kidney because the kidney is almost the the cleaner the filter of our blood and the job of the kidney job number one is to remove urea okay so it's like the kidney keeps us clean, clean cleanses our blood, okay? And as someone's mentioned before, we've got two of them, because that's a pretty big job, okay? As someone else mentioned, you can survive on one, but we'd rather have two, because it's stressful without two, okay? Now, not only is the kidney's job the removal of urea, it has a second job, called osmoregulation. Posh word for maintaining water concentration in our blood. Alright, so two functions, removal of urea and osmoregulation. When the kidneys remove the urea from the blood, it sends that urea to the bladder, where the bladder stores it, combined with water, to, cut, to make a chemical called urine. Urea plus water equals urine. The more yellow your urine, the more urea it contains. The clearer it is, the more water it contains. All right? So you know that when you go to the toilet and if it's a very yellow wee, you need to drink more water. All right? Because you're making your kidneys work hard. Okay? Right. So next, the structure of the kidney. And we've got our diagram that you can highlight. Right? So the arteries and the veins that bring and remove the blood to the kidney for cleaning have a special name, renal. The renal artery, as we have here, brings that unfiltered blood to the... That good. The renal artery brings the unfiltered blood to the kidney to be cleaned, to have its urea removed. <coughs> Now, I've not really touched on this, but there's not just that going on, all right? But this is more in detail later on. Once the kidney does its job, so I will go on to this part here, the central area of the kidney is called the cortex, the outer area, and the medulla, the inner area. All these contains is many, many, many of these individual units called nephrons, all right? And the nephrons is where all the filtration takes place. So these little sections here, there's three nephrons demonstrating this diagram, is where the filtration of the blood takes place, where the urea is removed. So in comes unfiltered blood in the renal artery. The blood is then forced through, but I'll do this more in another video, forced through into these nephrons. The nephrons remove the urea, and then the clean blood then comes back is absorbed back into the bloodstream and leaves the kidney through the renal vein. All right. The only thing I haven't mentioned so far is the ureter, and that is where all the nephrons come and join together to remove that waste filtrate, and this is then removed along the ureter, down the ureter, into the bladder, where it's stored to be removed as urine. Okay? 
structure and function of the kidney. Start them.